And to the charity stripe, first shot on the way. It is up, it is good. Second shot coming up. Short on that one, no good. 27, 21 year score, Carbon Hill out front. Here's the feed, top of the circle. Bentley with a basketball. Right side to Guthrie. Guthrie looks, finds Bentley, top of the key. Six point advantage for Carbon Hill. In the corner for George. George's gonna leave it off now to Naramore. Feed in the corner. Once again, it's uh, no shot clock in high school basketball, so they can take as much time as they want to. Here's Bentley in the corner with 6.37 to go third period. Working for that open shot, George. High post. Thought about it that time, Newton, and now he'll drive. Kick out. This is Bentley. Bentley with a basketball. Back around, George. Feeds it underneath. Bentley tries to make a move. He's going to step on the baseline. A turnover. And Carbon Hill goes back the other way, leading by six. Here's a shot. Top of the circle. Good. Nine points now for Blake Wright. He's leading all scores. 30, 21, your score. My goodness. Shooting them from Trayland. Here's Carbonell with a steal in transition. Shot good, lay in off the right side. Bryson Prince, the 5'11 junior. And that's four points for him. Curry wants the timeout. We'll take one as well. A 30 second break as your score. 32-21, we'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. And we're back. Curry and Carbonell, 32 21. Your score, Brett Elmore, Brian Hell here for WJLX Sports. Back to action. Curry with a basketball. 14 has it. That's Newton. Going to leave it off now with Guthrie. He'll drive. High post. Turnaround jumper. George. Good. Ryan George now in the double figure. He's got 10 points. A nice feed underneath there, and George puts it up and in. Two more for the Yellow Jackets. It's 32 23. Five minutes to go here in the third period. Three on the way. Swish. Got it. Bryson Prince now with seven points after that tray. Curry back the other way with a basketball. Looking to make something happen. 35-23, your score. George going to hand it off to Naramore. Top of the circle, Newton. Here's a dribble drive underneath. George puts it up. No good. Rebound, Carbon Hill. Bulldogs with a rebound. They have it now. Working some clock here, leading by a dozen. Here's the feed to Keaton. Keaton going to drive all the way to the glass and lay it up and in. Brandon Keaton now with nine points. The 5'9 sophomore. 
Makes it 37-23, Carbon Hill out front. Whistles, and we have something on the floor. And, hmm. wow, it's not something on the floor. It's actually the floor coming apart, apparently. Oh, wow. That's new. <laughs> yeah. There must be a bad spot on the floor. Yeah, that is new. New on me. And we're back to action. Curry with a basketball. Page going to leave it off to Sargent left side. Top of the key, 340 to go, third period. 14, point advantage for Carbon Hill. Here's the feed underneath, shot on the way. No good, whistles and a foul. Oh, the crowd doesn't like it, do they? <laughs> Brett, I always love these uh, these pre-Christmas break games. The fans and the and the players are so into it, knowing that they're about to get some time off. It's always fun. Shot on the way, it's no good. Yeah, and it helps, you know, two county schools. We have a great crowd here. Mm -hmm. Substitution for Carbon Hill coming into the ball game is DeJesus. Shot, good. 37, 24 your score, three and a half minutes to go. Third period. After we conclude here on radio, we will step aside and send you straight to Memphis for Alabama and Memphis. Nice feed, our shot underneath by Tittle. Whistles on the rebound as Lawhorn came down with it. Jump ball is called, and coach, I tell you, Coach Kirkland doesn't like it at all, but is I don't know why, because his team has possession. He wanted a foul in that. Yeah. That's what he was complaining about, I believe. But they have the basketball. Prince with it. Going to go right side. Tittle thought about this shot. We'll leave off with Lawhorn. Whistles, a traveling violation. Traveling violation back the other way, and Blake Sargent will trigger it in for the Yellow Jackets. Brett, with a 13-point deficit, Curry has got to start looking for to put some points on there, and they got to do something about this three ball of Carbon Hill. No kidding. Here's a drive. Newton will leave off with Page. Right side to Newton, 2.38 to go third period. 13-point advantage now for Carbon Hill. George, high post, going to leave it off. Kick out now. Newton with the basketball. Like we mentioned, you can take as much time as you want to here in high school ball. No shot clock. Curry working for a great shot. Tried to feed it underneath to George. It's stolen away. Here's a feed. Tittle in transition is going to be fouled going to the hoop. So Tittle will go to the line to shoot two. Clay's got three points in the game, looking to increase that. Shot on the way. It is good. 38-24. Second shot on the way, good. 39-24. Makes an even five for Clay Tittle. Right side, Yellow Jackets with a basketball. Newton gonna leave off with Kiker. Back over to Newton now, top of the key. Sargent, right side perimeter. Newton trying to reset things with a minute 45 to go. Third period here in Curry. Oop, that's an offensive foul. Yep. That was a good call. Yeah, it was. Anytime you throw that elbow, you're going to get called. Yep. 
especially right there in front yeah. of the official. Yeah, right there in front of the referee. Carbon Hill back the other way with it and with the lead by 15 here. We were talking before the game about Carbon Hill being a little undersized against Curry, but my goodness, they're playing hard tonight. Here's a foul underneath as they are attacking the basket. Going to the line now for Carbon Hill will be Luke Aldridge, 5'10", sophomore. And, you know, Coach Kirkland in really good shape here. No, They don't have a senior on this team. No, all this squad will be back next year, provided there's no transfers. And, boy, I tell you what, they're going to be a good one. Clay Tittle will inbound. Baseline, he'll work it in. DeJesus going to put it up. No good. Ball tipped around. Tip, tip. Nope. Rebound. Finally, Bentley pulls it down. Bentley going to leave it off with his teammate, Wilson Guthrie. Guthrie, top of the key. Newton. Newton. Right side. They work it into George. George. Oh, the shot is wow. blocked. Holy smokes. Back the other way. The land. Good. Whoa. What a transition that time. The block shot. And back the other way with Clay Tittle laying it up and in. My goodness. 41, 24, 35 seconds left. Three ball on the way, will not go. Rebound, the Yellow Jackets. Or excuse me, Bulldogs with a rebound and they'll probably hold for the last shot. Up big time here at Curry. Bulldogs with the basketball. Top of the key, Lawhorn. Leave it off with Tittle, five, four, three. Shot is blocked by Bentley. One second left, got to throw it up, but he's not going to get a shot off. 41-24, your score, as we've had some really good basketball right here as you folks watching see the swat that time on the other end of the floor, and then Tittle. In transition, going to lay it up, and he's going to lay it in. And that's our score at the end of three, 41-24. We will step aside, and we'll be back with more from Curry in just a moment. Stay tuned. That was picturesque. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigginton, Principal at H.L. Wigginton Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. And we welcome you back. Fast and Furious, fourth quarter, 7.22 to go. In the ball game, Curry with a basketball, trying to make something happen here. Here's a kick out, George underneath. George gonna make a move, George gonna put it up. George gonna put it in. 12 points now for Ryan George. Nice move underneath by George. Put it up and in for the Yellow Jackets. It's 41-26. Here's a feed underneath, laying good. Number five laying it in, Cameron DeJesus. His first points of the game. They are loud tonight in Curry. The student section or 
And great atmosphere for high school basketball. Bentley makes a move in the paint. Bentley going to be fouled. Bentley is 6'6", 175-pound senior. Yep. And he's been making plenty of good plays underneath the basket, grabbing the open boards. Yeah. Connects on his first shot. 43-27 your score. Second shot, miss, tip, good. 14 points now for Ryan George on that tip in. 43-29, your score, 6.26 to go. Coming up next, you folks waiting Alabama basketball, we'll have them from Memphis coming up in just a few minutes as soon as we wrap up here in Curry on the sports voice of Walker County, WJLX. Shot is blocked from behind. Bentley, I believe, got a hold of that. Either he or George. It was Bentley. It was Bentley. And Bentley will drive. Leave it with George. Shot, offensive foul. Wipe the points off the board. 43-29, 5-59 to go in the ball game. <laughs> and here they go. <laughs> the Carbon Hill student section, man. You, they have brought signs. They have... They, have, they are making some noise. They are indeed. And I see, oh me, I see a KCA sign. And <laughs> if you know, you know. And that's from the Carbon Hill sign. <laughs> oh me, gotta love inter-county rivalries. Carbon Hill, baseline move, tip, oh, will not go. Rebound, blocked by Bentley. Tittle comes away with it. And back outside they go, Prince. Brent, that's three blocks by Bentley. Carbon Hill, the three ball on the way. It's an air ball, no good. Rebound, fought for, out of bounds. Last touched by Carbon Hill. And the Yellow Jackets will have it with 5.22 to go. Bentley will inbound. He'll get it into Wilson Guthrie with 5.19 to go. Newton right side. Top of the key, Guthrie. Going to leave it off with Nairmore. Five minutes to go in Curry. 43-29, Carbondale out front. Varsity boys action on WJLX. Right side. They're just working it around the perimeter here, but they're going to have to get something going. Mm -hmm. Here's a shot no good from Newton. They get the offensive board. Ball loose. George comes up with it way outside. you got to have points. And there's some uh, – there's George underneath. The defense collapsed in on him. He's going to be fouled and go to the line. But, yeah, I mean, 43-29, uh, there's 432 left. Yeah, and the shot clock absence in high school does not lend yourself when you're at this much right, of yeah. a deficit. Well, well, yeah, you're really at the mercy, and you need some shots quick. Shot on the way and good. That makes it 43-30, but still a 13-point deficit. And like you mentioned, without a shot clock in high school basketball, you have to think your possessions, <laughs> you know, you're not guaranteed anything. Brett, that's 16 points for Ryan George. George having a great night tonight. 425, uh, excuse me, 427 to go, and we got a timeout on the floor. Timeout, Carbon Hill will take one as well, and we will step aside. A 30-second break. We're back to Curry in just a moment. The cause you gave. The Walker College Foundation has provided almost $3 million in scholarship funds. Because you gave, I can become a nurse and save lives. Because you gave, I will help shape the minds of future generations with a career in education. Because you gave, I am able to go to school debt-free while becoming an esthetician. So thank you so much. Because you gave. 
These scholars will change the world around them and make a difference in our community for generations to come. Thank you for your support. Donate today. For more information, log on to WCFDN.org. We welcome you back to Curry, where your score, Carbon Hill 43. And the Yellow Jackets 31, Brett Elmore alongside Brian Hill, Sebastian Black on camera tonight. Johnny Elmore back to the studio, our producer and engineer. Top of the key, Carbon Hill with a basketball, and like we mentioned, they're not going to be in a huge hurry here, 420 to go. Yeah, they can milk as much time as they want to. Prince with the basketball, going to leave it off. Now Prince will have it right back. Yellow Jackets trying to play some sticky defense here. Looking inside, nothing there. They're going to go in. Ball is loose. Comes back up with it. Prince knocked away. Prince gets it right back. And we'll leave it out top to Keaton. 3.50 to go. Here's a feet. Uh, here's a drive to the hoop. No good. Couldn't get the finger roll to go. George down with a rebound. Guthrie with a basketball underneath to George. Makes a move. He's triple teamed. Shot no good. Tipped out of bounds. It'll be Yellow Jacket ball, I believe. And George is working hard for an underneath the basket. You've got a sense the you've got to have a sense of urgency right now for Curry. Yeah, you really do. 3.31 to go and trailing by a dozen. Bentley off the inbound. Leaves it off with George, right side. Guthrie stops his dribble on the wing. Going to leave it with Newton. Newton at the keyhole, kick out. Back outside, Newton. Guthrie, Newton. Here's a three on the way, left side, no good. Rebound, fought for, Carbon Hill down with it. And once again, walking up the floor, comes Bryson Prince, the 5'11 junior, not in a big hurry here. 43-31 year score. Carbon Hill on top here, a battle of six and five teams. Coming up next, Alabama basketball, Bama at Memphis. We'll send it to you as soon as we conclude here in Curry. For you folks tuning in, looking for Bama basketball, we have high school action tonight. A part of a double header. 2.24 to go. Carbon Hill just milking clock. They're way outside. And at what point do you start to maybe foul? Yeah, you got to. I mean... Coach Kirkland up off the bench. We have whistles, and I believe finally we get a foul here with 2.07 to go. But that's just the same. Or is that a timeout? So. Nope, it's a foul. But, yeah, uh, that's another, another point. Curry with five team fouls now. So, up oh, here we go. It worked that time. They steal the basketball and lay it up and in. Wilson Guthrie with that steal in the bucket. 43, 33, I do believe. Yes, the scoreboard just now updating. Whistles, we have a timeout on the floor. Timeout, we will take one as well, a 30-second break, and we're back with more high school basketball in just a moment. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story.
Welcome back. We are live in Curry tonight. High school basketball action. Brett Elmore and Brian Hill, 43-33, a minute 51 to go in the game. Carbon Hill out front. They'll have the basketball as we get back to action, and a foul is called on Bentley this time. It's going to be the sixth team foul. Actually, I think that is number That is seven, seven. Yep. yeah. So that'll be the seventh and the one and one coming up. So we'll have some fouls going on. And all Curry can do is hope for some misses here to try to claw back into this thing. Shot on the way. It is up and good. Eight points now for Bryson Prince. Prince at the charity stripe, 5'11", 165, a junior. Once again, Carbon Hill loaded with nothing but juniors and sophomores. Second shot, good. Money with both of them, 12-point lead. Minute 48, clock is not moving. Now it finally is. Curry with the basketball. Mm -hmm. Scorekeeper trying to give them every second they can. And they're going to need it. Sargent with the basketball. Goes in the corner to Nairmore. Here's a three on the way. Oh, it rims out, no good. Will not go for Guthrie, whistles underneath. And we have a foul and we'll go back down the floor and shoot the one and one with a minute 26 to go. That was good timing on that foul because as soon as Blake Wright secured the rebound, they immediately fouled him. Yeah. He didn't even have a chance to turn around with it. Good crowd on hand tonight for high school basketball action. We'll have the county tournament coming up for you here in a few weeks. Here's a shot, no good, but the board coming out to Carbon Hill, and they will eat more clock. A minute 20 to go, and the foul is finally called. Luke Aldridge will go to the line. Yeah, a county tournament, one of my favorite events of the year, Brett. Always just absolute fun. So we'll have that for you coming up here on the radio. We'll be out at the county tournament. Shot on the way, front half of the one and one is good. Luke Aldridge with th his third point. 46-33. Second shot is no good. Ball tipped around. Curry away with it. Yellow Jackets with the basketball. Guthrie going to go in the corner to Newton a minute 15 to go. Clock is winding down on Curry. Trying to feed George underneath. Whistles, it goes out of bounds. And the possession will stay with Curry. We Time. got a timeout. Yep, timeout on the floor. A minute nine to go on this one. 46-33, your score. As Carbon Hill leads Curry, we'll, we'll step aside, be back with more in just a moment. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. As we welcome you back to Curry, Alabama, your score. Carbon Hill leading by 13, it's 46-33. Inbounds, Yellow Jackets with the basketball. Here's a feed underneath to George. George working hard. He's going to lay it in. Off the left side, good. 18 points for Ryan. Whistles, and we have a foul with 53 seconds left. It's 46-35 now, and a couple of free throws coming up now. For number three, Bryson Prince back at the line where he's been pretty good tonight from the charity strike. He has indeed. Stay tuned at the conclusion of our game. Alabama and Memphis on the radio. First shot is good. 
10 points now for Bryson as he's leading all Carbon Hill scorers. Second shot is no good. Offensive rebound and the putback is there though. 49, 35, your score. 45 seconds left. Kick out, right side Newton for three, no good. Rebound Carbon Hill with 30 seconds left. Will Curry back out? I believe, nope, they're gonna foul once more. And gonna send guess who back to the line, Bryson Prince. Bryson now already has double points. 10 already looking to expand on this. Mentioned Alabama and Memphis, they are tied at 11 with 15.40 to go in the opening half, so we'll be joining them still early in the ball game, so that's good. Second, uh, first shot on the way and good, 50 to 35. Hard to believe that Carbon Hill only scored 28 points against Red Bay the other night. Yeah, I know it. They're making up for it here tonight as the second shot is good, it's 51-35. 27 seconds to go. Uh, Got three. Uh-oh, it's going to be stolen away. The layup. Good. Number 22, Luke Aldridge with a steal and the put in. It's 53-35 with 12 seconds left. George for three. Oh, Ooh. he got it. George with the tray that time. We'll keep it right here as he worked it from the corner and drained it. 53-38, timeout on the floor. And uh, Brian, pretty good basketball game tonight uh, at Carbon Hill. Um, this actually surprised me a little bit. Yeah, they came in with a great plan defensively. Uh, that was, I think, the biggest key in this. Their defense, especially the half-court defense, has just been outstanding tonight. Yeah, it really has. and. Like we mentioned, we'll see both of these two teams again in the county tournament. Coming up here in just a few weeks, right after the first of the year. Shaping up to be already a great one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Inbounds coming up. They'll work it in. Carbon Hill with the basketball. Five seconds, almost stolen away. That's going to do it. 53-38. Your final score as you hear the crowd across the way from Carbon Hill. Brian, let's go ahead and get the final numbers real quick and we'll send it to Memphis for Bama basketball. Well, for the victorious Carbon Hill Bulldogs, Bryson Prince, a dozen points. Then Zach Lawhorn, Blake Wright, both had nine points in the game and for the Curry Yellow Jackets. An outstanding game for Ryan George. He had 21 points and five rebounds. All right, well, very good. The final score, 53-38. Carbon Hill, a winner tonight. And uh, we appreciate you folks tuning in for high school basketball here on WJLX. We're going to send it back to our studios now. Johnny Elmore standing by, and we're going to go to Memphis for Alabama and Memphis for Brian Hill. Brian enjoyed it. We've absolutely, Brett. Great game. Brian, for Brian Hill and for Sebastian Black, for Johnny Elmore, I'm Brett Elmore saying good night from Curry.